Welcome back. Thank you for joining me. Who wrote the Bible? Some of the discussions I have listened to, watched in recent times, I've heard so much about who wrote the Bible and those who introduced that religion of Christianity to Africa. And people have continued to say that look at the go to the Western world, they, they always look at go to Europe, go to America. People do not believe in God. These are the white men, these are the people who brought the Bible, who introduced Christianity. That is an error. It is a fallacy. These are not the people that introduced the Bible. These are not the people that brought the Christian faith to Africa. They are not. Yes, the argument can begin. Are we the people that were taken as slaves? Are the people right now currently living in Africa? So, yeah, if people want to say or are saying that these current people in the Western world are the ones who brought Christianity, who introduced the Bible, who introduced God to Africa. So, can one safely and rightly say also that those people who are currently in Africa were the ones that were enslaved? Okay, leave your comments, please, because I would really love to hear people's views. These are not the guys. Yes, the Bible was introduced by people whose pigmentations were not the same as those in Africa. But it wasn't these crop of people. Their ancestors, just like the ancestors of the people currently living in Africa, were those who were enslaved, taken away as slaves. It was their ancestors. By the grace of God, having taught in schools where I, I had children in classrooms, children who did not know anything about God, anything about the Bible. These children have grown up, they've never been to anywhere, building called church, they've never been privy to anything in relation to God. All they know about God is that they hear people or see people or pray or talk about it. They have never had the experience. Most of these dead children, some of them are the adults, that are those who have grown up to be adults, not the ones I taught, pardon me. But these are the same kind of people who grew up without knowing God. They are the ones today who would turn around and say to an African who's praying and, and believing in God to say, tell them they, they are brainwashed, they are idiots. That's because they can safely say that because they have no relationship with God. They, their fathers, their mothers, their grandparents had no relationship with God. It goes on and on for generations. So it is really, really a fallacy unfair to say that these people who are telling us that there is no God, that they, they worked hard and became who they are, that they're the ones who introduced, they're not. That's all I want to confirm. correct. They're not the ones. These are the lost ones who were never introduced to God because their parents, their grandparents, their great-grandparents didn't know God. I am not sure when the white man began to walk away from God. But we see it everywhere. But I'm glad by the grace of God, it is not every white man. Because by the grace of God, I attend a Bible-believing ch church. Well, I'm a member. I'm supposed to be, but I do not go every off, very often. But 
they 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 there are white people in that church who will love God and would disprove what most of these people who come on social media and say the white man will tell you God there is no God you people are crazy yeah. no it's not all of them let's one thing you will take from this video today is that these white people in Europe in the United Kingdom in Australia in wherever in the world are not the ones that introduce Christianity or the Bible to Africa. Their ancestors did. Those have long died and gone. These people you see today had no encounter. They have not been shown the way to God. That is why when any of them gives their life to God, they run with the fire. They want to capture the world. So dearly beloved, my friends, family, dear African brothers and sisters, correct yourselves. God is real. Whether the white man believes in God or not, you have had encounters with God. You should be able to testify for yourself. We have no power of our own. We can't do anything in our own might. God is God, the creator of the universe. He is alive. He is real. So is Jesus Christ, who was crucified to set all of us free. I plead with you guys, stop following me, mortal man. Your black African brothers and sisters are in, have enslaved people, you guys by the misinterpretation and misrepresentation of the word of God. That doesn't make the word of God a lie. We need to stop. People need to stop peddling these lies. These white men today did not introduce Christianity to Africa. That is the bottom line of my message today. As well as for me to say that Jesus loves you if you haven't received him as your Lord, it's still open to you. The day would come when you will stand before this God to give account of the life you have lived here on earth. May you be welcomed as a good and faithful servant and not one who will be told to depart as a worker of iniquity who is not known by God. May God have mercy on Africa and Africans. Amen.